firstly, in the budget, I think we need to see the Chancellor make an announcement about what he's going to do to relieve the credit squeeze on many of the businesses up and down the country. In nine of the last 12 months, we've seen a net contraction in lending to businesses, and the fact is, they are the ones who are powering the growth and creating the jobs of the future. The government announced uh, over four months ago that they were going to implement a credit easing policy to assist with this, and we still haven't heard any news about its implementation, and this is absolutely urgent. Second, we need to hear more about what they're going to do to bring forward infrastructure investment and spending. Again, that will help power future growth. And lastly, we definitely need to hear more about what they're going to do to tackle the over one million uh, young people unemployed and help give them the opportunities that they need to go out to succeed in the future, because at the moment, this is a massive waste of talent that isn't being put to use. The simple fact is that if we look at the way that our economy has been performing in recent times, it hasn't been delivering the outcomes that individuals and families want, and it hasn't been delivering the outcomes that our businesses want. What do I mean? We have seen, despite productivity increases, wages stagnate since the early noughties, and this has contributed to a cost of living crisis, the biggest squeeze on incomes in a generation. Secondly, businesses, there is a real finance conundrum out there where they're not being able to get the finance they need to expand and grow and also they're not getting the support that they need in the context of growing international competitive pressures, but also in the context of new markets that the new emerging economies offer. So we need a better and more productive and responsible capitalism that tackles those things. And that, for that, we need change, modernization, and reform of the way the economy has been operating. And that's very much what Labour has been arguing for. What we're seeking to do is to look at what are the successful best of British businesses doing? What are the practices, behaviours and things that they are doing to succeed and to ensure that they're investing in their people, their workers and the communities where they're located? One good example of that that's often spoken about is Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce wouldn't proclaim to be a perfect company, but it's doing great things that many people could copy. For example, brokering apprenticeships all the way down its supply chain. And of course, that in turn helps with the youth unemployment issues that many businesses are concerned about and that we in the political sphere have been talking about, and most importantly, the people that we represent worry about most at the moment. I think there are, point, there are what I call point of sale issues that need to be addressed, but there are also longer term structural strategic things that government needs to do, and I think government does have a role. This isn't necessarily the shared view in the political sphere, but government definitely has a role in helping to make sure UK is set up to deliver. In terms of the point to sell things, we obviously need to improve the networks, the routes, the market that there are in particular for small and medium sized businesses. They need to be able to get the finance that they need to expand and export, which many say are, they aren't getting at the moment. And we also need to look at the way that UKTI, which exists to help but companies export, is operating. Some people say it does a great job, but others say it's quite inconsistent. In terms of the longer term issues, we need to work together with the different industry sectors to identify where we've got a competitive strength and a comparative advantage and build on that, but also to identify where demand is going to come from in the future and what the demand will be for. Uh, what I call, if you like, we've got to work to identify the unknown unknowns at the moment so that when they become a reality, we can exploit them. So in the same way that a lot of the high-tech e-commerce is now a live issue, we should be working 10, 20 years ago to make sure that we were set up with platforms to meet that demand, create jobs and growth now. We need to do that now in respect of the demand in the future. Many people are talking about the BRIC economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, but there's a whole new load of economies, the next 11 as they're called, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Pakistan, coming up behind who people are saying going to be the growth economies of the future. We want to make sure that we're set up, business and government working together to exploit those opportunities for the British people.